Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 43 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we made it to the final mission in Kaiba's ca campaign. So there's Scott right over there. Even if you complete the campaign numerous times, Scott will always have monsters of the exact same level. It will never get any stronger than that. Alright, so what we're going to do while I send Pegasus over... Is I should send Bones over here. Ishizu should go over here. That way we can take out some of those like circuitry units over there. Because we're definitely going to need to later on. And I'll send Labyrinth Ruler over to the north. First things first, Pegasus faces Scott right now. I must say, I admire your persistence. I never expected anyone to make it this far. I'm tired of your stalling. Turn off this machine now! It's too late. It doesn't matter what you do now. There's no way to stop the Dark Spirit now. Dark Spirit? You heard me. I built this computer to summon the ancient powers of darkness. And it'll be here any minute now. It will devour your strong, duelist souls and take over the entire world. You were all chosen by me to be tributes to the darkness. Ha ha ha! You should feel honored. Enough! I'm tired of this nonsense. There is no dark spirit. It's nothing more than ancient superstition. Hehehe, <laughs> Kaiba. You of all people should know that my inventions are more than they seem. This is not just some game or simulator. It's a trap. A chain to bind my tribute to the Dark Spirit. This machine is linked to your souls and controls all your senses. The Dark Spirit will come from the darkness found within the human heart. Scott's gone completely nuts, brother. Oh, I can hear it now. A power unlike any other. It's coming. It's coming. It's time for you to give me your souls. It only hurts at the very beginning. After that, you'll be at peace. That's it. I'm not listening to any more of this nonsense. I'll shut this machine off by myself if I have to. Alright, the reason why I sent Pegasus is because A, he's my strongest marshal, and B, he has a Black Luster Soldier to take out those Serpent Night Dragons a little bit faster. Alright, so we'll pretty much be focusing on Skull Knight instead, while Black Luster Soldier gets the Night Dragons. Night Dragon, the crime-solving dragon. What kind of dragon would a what kind of crime would a dragon solve anyway? It's like not enough burning human flesh. I must do something about this because that's all dragons think about these days. And Skull Knight is dead from the poison. That's great. Okay, we're in a very good position to win here. Of course, it's not over yet. Okay, now it's over for Scott. <laughs> that was quick, because remember, the levels don't change. Well, ours did. At least two of our monsters did. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop it now. The Dark Spirit is almost here. All I wanted to do was offer you his tribute painlessly. The darkness shows no mercy. It will devour your souls ruthlessly. Not even I can guess how painful that will be. You will live just long enough to regret the fact that you were not defeated by me. What a waste. Indeed, it's unfortunate to lose such a convenient pawn. Even if he was more than a little crazy, I could have used him for something else. And now you must pay for interfering with a minion of darkness. Who are you? Does it matter? What good does it do to the cow to know the name of the butcher? It's still going to end up as steak. Hmm, this place is actually quite nice. It'll make a nice stepping stone to the outside world. All I need to do now is wait to finish materializing. 
I might as well eat you while I wait. Let's see. Which minion should I summon forth? Sloifer the Sky Dragon, I summon thee. What? Alright, so in Kaiba's campaign, the final boss is the other Egyptian god card, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Now, if I wanted to, I can send Kaiba against him and use my god card. Then you have two gods clashing. However, that would be a stupid idea. Slifer is only at level 1 with 8200 attack points. Ooh, inflict damage on all enemies and greatly reduce their attack? Obelisk didn't have a move like that. This could be frightening. Because every time we get hit with that special move, we're doing less damage. So we better get all the damage we can. I think Labyrinth Ruler would have been good for this, for the paralysis. Because at least it's not status immune. Oh, it's a spirit too, so I can't really use extra damage from, dra from that. Okay, that's single target. That doesn't reduce attack. Just reduces health. By a lot, actually. Oh, come on. How can you miss that? Well, to be fair, Slifer is kind of skinny. But still bigger than us. Much bigger. Oh, the poison wore off. See, that's what happens, Dragon Zombie, if you miss. Lame stuff like that can happen. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to worry too much about healing unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, Dragon Zombie can get that covered. He's got a DNK with the Cure Master. We'll try to save it for, like, if we're in very dire straits. We just need some very timely critical hits in this situation. But we're doing it very well. It's waiting for some reason. If we're lucky, we can defeat Slifer right now. I don't think it's going to happen though, but still. <coughs> it's wishful thinking. We just need some timely damage. A lot of it. Okay, still using the single target move. That's okay, it makes my life a lot easier. Uh, I think I should heal right now. Let's do that. Sometimes the sound effect for that item is glitched. Oh, I say one more Black Luster Soldier attack and it's over. <coughs> Looks like we're going through this battle real quick, I must say. Oh, come on, but that crit could have done it. All right, we did it. We defeated Slife for the Sky Dragon. It's over, right? Wrong. It's not over. Remember, this is the second time we're doing a campaign, so therefore we get one extra boss. This will be fun. And by fun, I mean terrible. Cool. Oh. Did we beat it? No, we didn't. Arr! You insignificant little... I'm not playing anymore. 
I will devour every last one of your souls. You will spend eternity in darkness and tormented pain. It's materializing. Go back to the fairy tale you come from. All right, Pegasus. Let's see if you can deal with Slifer again. The bad news is this one is level 99. So much stronger than the original Slifer we fought at level 1. So this will be a much bigger uphill battle than before. But still weak against poison. So we got to hit with everything we got right now. Music here is actually pretty intense. I like it. Oh, there's the special. Slow down everything. That's going to hit everybody, isn't it? Oh, I missed Black Luster Soldier. That's good. Mr. Creature doesn't have any items. Yep, so that definitely did less damage. Alright, so it looks like Pegasus is going to be a throwaway for this. Alright, so let's be patient before I start using Kaiba for the finishing blow. Because I would like to use God Card versus God Card. Or, well, just God versus God. Oh, that's a good crit. So I practically have Pegasus here to lay the foundation for what should be the final blow. going to take a little bit of time. Oh, who are you going for? Oh, Black Lester Soldier. Well, he didn't take damage before, so that's going to be no big deal. Ooh, like 900 damage. That's heavy. Just keep throwing it at him. We got a ton of marshals to dispose against this guy. I know it sounds cold hearted, but it works. Oh, it's guarding. That sucks. Oh, Dragon Zombie's not going to do a lot of damage. I bet you. Watch. He has to do at least one damage to break that guard. And I don't think he will. No, he didn't. Not even Black Lesser Soldier can do that. So we don't have enough attack power to break through its guard. Oh, man, because Slifer is so large, whenever he does that special... The frames just go real slow. Okay, so now we're slightly weaker. Oh my god, he can't even do a hundred damage. Oh, Slifer is really overpowered compared to Obelisk. Come on, just throw everything at him. Even if it's very little. Oh my god. That damage reduction is so great. Okay, so Pegasus obviously could not get the win here. You know, instead of like just going after the circuits, which will reduce Nightmare's... Uh, HP regen. We might as well just throw everything at him right now. It's too powerful! Our attacks are all, all, having almost no effect. Kaiba boy, see how the circuits all lead to the central block? I think it's drawing energy from the other circuits. You're right. Everyone, focus your attack on the other blocks first. 
or no, we can just go straight at him. So we'll do just that. Besides, Nightmare is just gaining, what, 5 HP every second or so? We're gonna do more than that damage. Alright, Bones, you've been a hero for me many times. Let's see you do that again. I mean, no pressure, it's just a giant dragon this time. Oh, I should have used King Yami Makai to power up. Alright, Paralyzed Slifer, we got this in the bag. Oh, he broke through immediately. Oh, okay, you're gonna live through this. Just don't get critted, thank you. Okay, just a little more. We got it down to triple digit HP. We're gonna do this. Oh, the paralysis, paralysis didn't work. Our right, Yamamakai, get 500 damage, or 499, that's okay too. Oh, you did it! That seemed a bit anticlimactic, but it worked. Too bad we didn't see God card versus, or God versus God, but maybe we will again eventually. Because they do get new attacks if you do that. We did it, it's over! How dare you attack me! You will pay for this! Grog. We... we did it! What's happening? The whole place is starting to fall apart! And we get Slifer's Orb, so now we can summon Slifer the Sky Dragon. Seto, wake up! Ugh. Mokuba. Thank goodness you're awake! We need to hurry! The whole place is on fire! Fire? When I woke up, there were flames coming out of the machine connected to the dual disc! There must have been some kind of trouble! We have to get out of here now! Alright. The fire in the sick labs burned fiercely through the night until flames engulfed the entire complex. The fire blazed into the morning and destroyed the entire lab, but Kaiba and company escaped relatively unharmed. Various news media reported that an accident in one of the labs had started the fire at sick. The real truth was buried forever in darkness. Scott Irvine, the architect of this insidious incident, disappeared after he left Kaiba Corp and no one even knew if he was alive or not. After the fire, Sick closed its doors and went out of business. There was no trace of Scott. What pushed Scott Irvine over the edge that made him embrace madness? No one knows the answer to that question. However, his final words before he disappeared from Kaiba Court might hold a clue. It is inevitable that those who wish to realize the existence of the gods wished eventually to control them. And then he became controlled by them. So, there we go, that's two campaigns completed, and by doing so, we unlock the third one. Some of you probably already guessed who it is, so... Might as well just, like, wait out the credits again. So, this third campaign, I believe, only has ten missions. And it seems like a, a prologue to, like, before, like, all this started. So, we'll just sit through the credits again. We're very close to the end of this Let's Play, though, which is going to be real good. That I say it's going to be finished by... Probably a week before Christmas, if I do my, uh... T dates right. Or, or close to it, like, just... Probably like a few days before Christmas. But given how many times you have to go through the campaign, thank god the credits are not the size of like standard Ubisoft AAA games. 
That would be a long time. Of course, they don't show Nightmare in the credits, otherwise it would be a bit of a spoiler. So, like I said several parts ago, I could go back to Kaiba's campaign to get those other monsters again. However, it doesn't really seem to be necessary. They're not really used for fusion material in the grand scheme of things. So, let's just go straight on to the third campaign. Of course, go to load. There, now you got Joey's campaign unlocked. So, this will be the final campaign I do in this Let's Play. It's a much shorter one than Yugi's and Kaiba's, so... In the next episode, we begin Joey Wheeler's campaign. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.